Hi, this is Amelia and Elizabeth, and we are here with Hendrik from Sonica Arctica. Thank you for having this interview with us today. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, no worries. Nice to meet you guys. Nice, nice to meet you. you. So how's everything been going for you? Well, it's been quiet, that's for <laughs> sure. Uh, um, I think all things considered, we, we are doing quite well. But uh, yeah, with, with all the stuff that's going on, um, we haven't been able to do a uh, tour as much or almost almost at all for for a couple of years but other than that i think everybody's doing doing well in the band and uh, we got a lot of stuff going on awesome so your new album acoustic adventures is coming out in january so what can fans expect from that uh well we have uh, we have been doing um, acoustic shows uh, or acoustic tours every once in a while um, just to get some change from from what we normally do, and and this time we we decided to record an album, or actually two albums. The first one is coming in January, and the second one uh, next fall um, of of that kind of stuff. And and so um, finally got around to 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 record it and and mix it, and and now uh, people can actually listen to it at home as well. So um, it's basically acoustic versions of our songs uh, with new arrangements, and uh, yeah. That, that, that's in a nutshell what it is. <laughs> so what's your favorite thing about playing acoustic compared to playing with the full stage show? Well, I think it's more relaxed and more laid back and also more intimate. And, um, and, and you have to be really on top of your game because uh, there is not this... Um, wall of sound with distorted guitars and, and stuff uh, like when you play acoustic it's, it's really stripped down so uh, I think it's a it's a challenge and, and you have to approach the, the music differently um, so so th that's what I like the most you know it's, it's refreshing to do it for a while and then go back to playing heavy metal again and you said you're bringing out two albums so what can fans expect from your other one Oh, it's going to be the same shit. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, we actually recorded, uh, we did one, one session where we recorded 25 songs and then just uh, split them up between two albums. So uh, we have been trying to, to make sure that we have songs from every album on both of the releases. Um, so you could say in, in one way that these two albums together are sort of a best of collection, uh, but made acoustically. And what was your writing and recording process? Well, there wasn't that much writing since since the songs were already done and, and recorded earlier uh, on albums. But um, we started with uh, taking uh, checking the set list from, from the tours that we've done acoustically and picked some songs from there. And then after that, we just started trying out uh, different songs, you know, uh, which one could work acoustically. And some worked and some didn't. Uh, we have um, about 10 studio albums out now. So we have over 120 something songs to choose from. So it was a bit tricky to, to find uh, uh, to find the right ones. Uh, but I think we think we did a good job and found a solid collection of songs. So do you think you'll do a best of tour from this album? Uh, yeah, I mean we're planning to, to play in Finland in the spring. Um, and, and it's going to be just a short tour of 15 shows, and uh, and then. When the second album comes out, we're going to tour in Europe for, I think, six weeks. We were supposed to do it already this year, but uh, because of this uh, COVID shit going on, we couldn't do it. So, so we're trying it again uh, next fall. That's cool. That's exciting to get back out there. Absolutely. We, we are waiting. Everybody's pretty anxious to get out there and play and, and, and see people and have a good time. So now we're going to ask you our signature question. So if you could have any band play one of your songs, which band would it be? Which song would it be? And would it be in your style or their style? Mm -hmm. Okay, I, w I would say it would be interesting to hear... Oh, it would be interesting to hear Nightwish do a cover of, of one of our songs, and I would prefer that they would do it in their style. Do you have any particular that, that was song? A... Not really. No, not really. I, I think they could choose choose themselves, but it would really, be really cool to hear them cover one of our songs. What's your favorite memory of watching someone else perform live? Can you tell us a story? 
Uh, yeah, sure. There are a bunch, bunch of them. But uh, I think back in uh, 2006, um, I went to Tallinn in Estonia uh, to watch Metallica. And I, ha- I hadn't seen them before. And that was uh, the summer when they were playing uh, Master of Puppets uh, from, from start to end. And so, so that, that was, I think, one of the greatest uh, concert memories I have because uh, we went there with a bunch of friends and, and watched the concert and and oh yeah we basically just had a, a fucking awesome time and, and and you get to hear the whole Master of Puppets album which was my favorite and, and still is today uh, to this day so yeah I would say that that would be my favorite memory. That's a really cool memory. And what was the first ever band or artist that you saw live? Can you tell us a story? Oh. Uh, I don't remember. That's so, that's so long ago. I mean, that's that has to be like 20, 25 years ago. So I did go to a festival when uh, I, I saw Motorhead oh, like cool. over 20 years ago. That was really cool. They played really loud and, and I was just uh, standing there astonished and shocked at the same time. <laughs> that was uh, That was really something. That's cool. I haven't seen Motorhead, obviously. I'll never get a chance to now. But I did see Metallica in England, and that was yeah. so cool to be in the snake pit. It was, like, amazing. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. It was the one that got filmed that it was, like, raining at, and it was, like, torrential downpour. And I don't know if you've watched the footage. They were, like, playing on stage, and all the water was, like, flicking up everywhere. Yeah, I think I see something like that, or some clips somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Might be, yeah. Yeah, all right. Um, so what's your favorite memory with your fans? Can you tell us a story? Well, some guy asked us to sign his car once, and, and there have been stuff like that that are a little bit interesting. But of course, you know, if you ask to sign somebody's car, why, why not? Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I, I, I can't think of anything cooler than that right now. That's cool. Do you have a favorite memory from touring? No, it's all a big blur. I mean, we've been doing this now for, for I've been in the band for 20 years now. So uh, I think uh, some of the of the greatest tour we have had has been when we've been uh, supporting Nightwish in the States and uh, and also in, uh, in Europe. And of course, we've been to Australia once uh, 11 years ago. And that was really awesome. That's cool. So, what's your favorite memory from Australia? Well, I don't know if uh, fam- if it's my favorite, but I remember we played in uh, in Sydney on New Year's Eve, and I was so excited because I thought, okay, you know, our show was about to end uh, just before midnight, so I'll go outside, you know, have a beer and uh, and watch the fireworks. Uh, but turns out that we were too far away. So when I went out after the show, took my beer and started to, to try to watch the fireworks, you could only see like uh, the skyline up a little bit because apparently we were like behind some hill or something like that. I mean, that's that's the first memory that comes to mind from Australia, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> that sucks. Well, hopefully... Yeah, that did suck. Yeah. <laughs> hopefully you get to come and see them sometime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I should try again. Yeah, you should. Have you been to Japan to tour? Yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe 10, 10, 15 times. Oh, that's so cool. What's your favorite thing about Japan? Well, everything works. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, that's, uh, that's cool. I mean, um, yeah, it's uh, it's been fun fun going over there, and everything works like clockwork, and and people are really nice and polite and then so it's yeah i think it's uh, and uh, i think one one of the things that is really great about it is that the, the shows are really early so you go on at even as a headliner you go on at, uh, at six or seven in the evening um as opposed to you know sometimes here in finland you start at 10 or 11 so you can actually go to dinner after the show and stuff like that so so i think that that's very nice that they have this kind of culture that uh, even, even rock, rock and roll shows start early yeah, that's really cool. And are you playing any European festivals next year? Oh uh, yeah, we have a bunch. I don't remember them by heart right now, but uh, yeah, we have a. Uh, I think uh, Finland and Europe. We have we have festivals, maybe around twenty festivals next year. Some of them are published already, and some are, some are not. So, uh, but uh, they'll be up on our website whenever they release the info who will play where. But yeah.
So it's usually in summer we play every weekend. That's cool. So what can fans expect when you get back on stage? Uh, right now we're celebrating 25 years as, as a band, so it's it's probably going to be a, a mixed set list, and we try to to incorporate songs from every album. So that that's what we're going to be doing next summer. That's cool. And um, last question: Is there anything else you would like to say to your fans? Well, I really hope we can go uh, come back someday. It's been now 11. It's going to be 12 years soon. I mean, we had we had a great trip last time, so, so we're really trying to make it back. And of course, our first priority right now is to get back on the road and, and get to playing shows. And that's unfortunately not in our hands. But I hope to see you guys at some point. Thank you so much for this interview yep. today. We really appreciate it. Thank you. No worries. Yeah, okay. thank you guys. Thank you. Have, Have a good, good night. Bye.